This is a tutorial on how to install Windows 8.1 under Windows XP. Currently I'm browsing to the ISO file of the Windows 8.1 and I'm mounting it using Power Pro to a virtual CD drive so I can read the content of the ISO file. Here it is, drive V. This is the executable file which should start but it's not starting the setup some errors are shown. In order to install it I will select all files, copy it and extract it to a separate location on the hard drive. Uh, I'm creating a new folder and I'm pasting after that the content here. I name it Windows 8.1 32-bit okay and now I'm pasting the content from the virtual virtual CD inside this uh, folder on the hard drive and after a few minutes it will finish extracting it and Windows will be installed from this location this is the hard drive, this is the directory where I extracted the files and this is the source file, the ISO file. And uh, currently I'm starting EasyBSD. EasyBSD is the boot manager, bootloader manager program through which I will add the ISO file into the boot menu so I can boot from it. Here at Edit boot, boot Menu, we can see that we have two operating systems installed currently on the in the computer, and at at add and ISO, I'm typing the new name of the ISO file. This will be shown, and at Path, we can select the ISO file itself from where the computer will load it. Make sure there are no spaces in the name of the file. OK, add entry. This is a short defragmentation. OK, successfully added. And let's check it. Edit boot menu here. And the third option is uh, inserted here. That is the ISO file, and the computer will boot from that. So we restart the computer. Windows is shutting down. This is fast forwarded a little bit so it is faster okay this is the third option Windows 8.1 ISO that is will that will be loaded that is the ISO file and we're booting from it press enter on it okay and now press any key to boot from that CD or DVD which is the ISO file itself and the setup starts and uh, at this screen we can try to continue click next and then click install. We can try to continue the setup but uh, this wo won't work because the setup is running right now from an ISO file and for certain reasons we get these error messages uh, stating that Windows can't find the CD drive from where it's loading. No device drivers were found and it won't see any CD or hard drive partition, it's the list is completely empty. So we can uh, turn off this uh, window, yes, quit, and uh, return to this screen. And here we can press Shift plus F10, Shift plus F10, and then a command prompt window will appear. And here we can type, for example, C and column, and thus we will go to the C drive and type dir to list the content of this drive and we are in the correct location and on the right side we can see below recycle bin uh, win 8.1-32 so we type cd, cd means change directory and type the folder's name and after pressing enter uh, it will change to that directory, we entered it, ok, type dir again to list the content of that directory and here on the right side we can see the directory called sources and we have to 
uh, go inside that one so type again CD and sources and press enter and now we have to type setup and this and press enter and this will start another instance of setup and this one will not run from the ISO file but from the hard drive itself from the extracted location okay to start this setup click next enter manually type in the serial number of Windows 8.1 preview this is freely available on the Microsoft website because it's a non-finished version of Windows click next to continue check the I accept the license term button okay and here click custom and you can see the hard drives you have you can install either on one of those hard drives windows or you can press uh, press shift F10 and uh, I will install windows into a virtual hard drive let's go to C drive type dir again to see where is the extracted folder okay it's here and type disk part this is the uh, program which will create the virtual hard drive for that trap type create v disk that's the virtual disk file equal and enter the path where the uh, virtual uh, hard drive will be stored I put it on the C drive and the extension of the file must be VHD okay and type equal expandable this will uh, specify whether the hard drive size will be created at once or it will expand as uh, data is added to it and specify the maximum size of that uh, virtual hard drive let's say around 40 gigabytes and after this press enter let's re uh, review it create vdisk the path of the file type of the file and the size of the file okay this was created successfully press the up arrow key so we recall the uh, whole command and delete create from the beginning and instead write select okay let vdisk and file path let it there uh, type and maximum this uh, will be deleted okay so we selected that file that VHD file and now with attach vdisk we are attaching that uh, virtual disk and it will gain a, a letter and after returning to setup window click refresh button and after a few seconds the new drive letter will appear this, this is it the unallocated space with around 40 gigabytes and you can install by clicking next we can install Windows 8.1 onto this virtual hard drive files are being extracted and the installation uh, is going on this is the fish logo of Windows 8.1 and for a short period of time this is the bootloader menu and another restart of windows and a third inst restart of windows while installing okay and this is for a longer period the bootloader menu here we can see the windows itself windows 8.1 preview and windows 8.1 iso from which the installation started and other operating system systems and we choose the first one okay some more settings ha have to be uh, done here for example we can we must uh, introduce the a name for the computer and make sure we don't use these uh, signs I added a dash between my and PC and it's not allowed okay click next to continue and choose between express settings and customizable settings I choose to customize me my settings whether you want to connect to a network whether you want to uh, enable right now the automatic updates yes or no get uh, drivers 
automatically update the applications set the, send the do not track signal click next to continue check automatically for errors if something goes wrong okay click next some more details about suggesting web results in the browser prediction as let use let applications use your account and your picture your location protection and things like that you just click on this and you can switch them on or off click next to continue the account is being set up and on this screen you can choose when whether you want to sign in with a Microsoft account or create a new account I uh, can I created here uh, an offline account sign in without a Microsoft account this account will be on your own computer here you can choose the username what which one which one you want to use and the password if you want and click finish after this we have to wait a few more moments while the applications are being installed the screen will be very colorful and in a few seconds uh, the start menu will show up and here we can see in the lower left corner of the screen the desktop itself and you can click on it and the desktop will show up this is the desktop of the newly installed Windows 8.1 and here the watermark says more clearly it's 8.1 Pro Preview and on the left side we have a button for the start menu itself Windows 8.0 didn't have it that was the start menu and if you right click on it on the start menu you have the option to restart and shut down the computer and if system properties you can see that's the 8.1 pro preview version this was the 32-bit operating uh, system and Windows is automatically activated after it is installed and that's it for now thank you for watching and bye bye